I don't particularly like people. I don't. And uh, it makes it very difficult to be a social worker. <laughs> Which is the reason I don't like people. So it's circular. <laughs> Worst profession to me, nightmare profession. First of all, I'm working with the mentally ill. I hate the mentally ill. I particularly hate schizophrenics. I do. I do. They come into the office with those voices. Those voices. I have my own voices. I have generations of Jews in my head pulling down my self-esteem. I don't need your voices. And their voices, they're always from appliances. <laughs> the refrigerator is talking to them. The stove is talking to them. Here's my advice. Stay out of the kitchen. <laughs> God in heaven. And then they give you settings to work in that are like a, a nightmare. I was the director of a 32-bed residence for the mentally ill. Perfect. So my phone is ringing, middle of the night. I get a hysterical person on the other end. They tell me, I can't fall asleep. I'm having a panic attack. I told them, you're not supposed to fall asleep. You're the overnight staff. <laughs> But here's the worst thing. Here's what really is the torture you bear. The supervisors. Now, I don't know, my supervisor who I have now may be in the audience, and she's actually a nice woman. I would say it if she wasn't here, but whatever. But the ones before, essentially, they are, I think they are basically coming from hell, but hell is full. <laughs> So they're sent back onto Earth to be my supervisor. <laughs> Fine. I had a woman, last place I worked, um, she was the grandmother of Satan. There is no question about it. <laughs> First of all, she wore these very big, full skirts, which weren't to hide her big ass, which she had. It was essentially to hide the tail. I know it. <laughs> Never wore nice shoes. Well, how could she? How are you going to cram a cloven hoof into a designer shoe? Can't happen. And when I would have supervision with her, I would get nauseous from the smell of sulfur. I mean, it was torture. So, 